Hey, what's up? This is Alex, and today I'm gonna show you how to use all categories of the big pack of elements. First of all, here's a quick overview of the A Viewer. It works like a file browser, so you can move between the folders, and with a double click, you can add the elements to the timeline. By default, all elements will be added to the current composition, but you can also add them as a separate compositions or open as AEP files. You can change the default behavior under the settings menu or change import settings for one element by right click of the mouse. To switch between the categories quickly, hold folders button, move pointer to the desired category and release the button. You can change the grid scale with slider or with the buttons below. And add elements to the favorites. To preview all elements at once, click on Play All button. 2D Backgrounds. Add the element with the double click, then make sure that the layer is selected and you can change its settings under the Effect Controls panel. Most of the backgrounds in this category have the form settings, for example, stroke width and angle. Gradients. If you need minimalistic background, use gradients category. Everything is simple, just choose the color and points position. Charisma backgrounds. This category, as the most of the rest, has 3D effect. Extrude slider designed to set up the thickness, quality to change the number of copies, and angle to change the shift of the copies. All animation is looped and limited only with the layer duration. To increase the duration, open the composition and make it longer. Titles. As usual, you can add the element with a double click. You'll see special markers on the layer, so you don't have to move the keyframes anymore. Just move the Out marker to shift the whole disappearance animation. Here you also have extrude settings, but you can't extrude the text. So in this case, turn on the BG checkbox to show the background for second title. Looks much better. These elements also have width settings to adapt the element to your title. To replace the text, open the composition with double click, then perform double click on the text layer and type your text. Also, if you want to change other settings in the composition, you can turn off parenting to the main composition by holding the Alt key and clicking on the properties. Now you can go back using the path above. Charisma titles. They work the same way as the titles, and the only difference is the graphic concept. Pages. These are more complex elements than titles, but at the same time, they are easy to manage. Icons. In addition to the standard set, you can customize the roundness, turn off the background, or disable the extrude of the top layer of the animation, so it doesn't cross with the background. You can achieve an interesting effect by adding one element two times, adding the extrude to them, then disabling the background at the top element. Presets. You can add ready animation to the elements of the big pack or any other elements or layers. Just choose any 2D layer and double click on the animation. Layer will have now two markers that would help you to set up in and out animation. You can set up how your layer will appear and disappear to do this, click and hold mouse button on the animation and release button on in, then do the same on out. Under the effect controls window, lots of presets has additional settings of in and out animation. 3D presets. They work the same way as 2D, but applied to the 3D layers. New animation will replace an old animation. Just place the current time indicator at the time where element is static and choose the new animation. While using the complex animation, no layers will appear and they would be automatically deleted if you will use simpler animation. Text presets. Select layer and apply animation with double click. Just like the other presets, the animation will last from the edge of the layer to the marker. Change these settings to adjust the appearance and disappearance of the text. 
For convenience, we have marked the animation with the colors. White color animations are more suitable for appearance, gray for disappearance, and yellow are the random animations. Gadgets and computers. These are 3D models made from the layers, which allows you to rotate them around their axis. However, we don't recommend turning them at 19% angle to the camera because they will disappear. It is difficult to work with these elements because they have displays, so we made ready animations and shapes. Just create a composition, add the element, and new precomposition with camera will appear. If you want to add more than one element at once, then remove the extra cameras. To customize the animation of appearance and disappearance, open the animation keys by clicking on the transform arrow or by pressing the U key and then just move them. To add an image to the element, open the screen like this and return back quickly by selecting the final composition on the top. If you want to do detailed customization of the elements, you can open the composition and select settings layer and customize color and many other options under the effect controls window. Hands. They are designed to interact with gadgets and can also be independent participants of the animation. Many elements have additional null object that can help you to add or to take something from the screen. Just put the current time indicator in a place where the animation of the null object has not begun and parent your layer to it. And the hand will take your element. Shapes. It is really simple to use them. Just add with double click to your composition. Under the effect controls window, you'll see the color and shape settings. And the categories particles, sparks, and mixed work the same way. Charisma shapes. This category doesn't have advanced settings. However, it has much more expressive and effective animation. Only a few elements will create a bright dynamic. Basic shapes. This is a set of simple forms. Toggle collapse transformation to scale the element to infinity. Most of the elements have in-out animation and you can also set up them under the Effect Controls window. Font. To import the animated typeface into your project, double-click on the preview. It might take some time to load the old typeface. After the project has been loaded, Font Manager will automatically launch, but if you accidentally close it, you can open it again under the list of scripts. To create an animated title, type the text in the field and then click Write Text. You can move the letters with one shape layer. Under the Effect Controls, you can find Color, Extrude and Spacing settings. Font Manager has additional settings, for example, font size and layer shift. Select the shape controller and type the number of frames you want to shift in your animation. We recommend you to choose between one or two frames to shift uh, long titles and 4 till 5 frames for short titles. In and out markers are working on the same way as in other categories. Charisma transitions. Add an item to transition from one frame to another. Stack the first and second frames at the moment where transitions will close the screen. Simple transitions and high-tech transitions are working the same way as Charisma transitions. Isometric. This is an additional tool as well as the font manager that can be launched from the list of scripts. To use it, select the layer and click on any direction. To change the angle, select the layer again and select the direction. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another tutorials.